George and I work in the TaylorMade team. I've recently come back from southern Japan. I was there for uh, just over a week. My recommendation would to um, definitely try some of the local things when you're out there. Uh, so definitely taking some of the foods like Kobe beef, uh, have a visit to a sake brewery. Uh, if you fancy doing some traditional Japanese things, visit a sumo wrestling sort of competition uh, and maybe try some baseball when you're out there as well. The uh, Sword Museum was absolutely awesome. Uh, you got a real insight into how they make sort of traditional samurai swords. Um, process is sort of it goes through sort of six or seven different people uh, to make it. it. Takes about a year to eighteen months to make um, the engravings, the actual sort of handle, everything about it. Uh, and what's amazing as well, it's done for sort of people all across the world. These are tailored to sort of everyone's unique tastes. Uh, and it'll set you back about kind of a hundred thousand dollars if you if you want one as well. So <laughs> Kobe beef, that was the best place. So we actually went to Kobe to eat it. So local sort of Kobe beef prepared in front of us. So some live cooking, um, lots of different sort of weird vegetables, but I wouldn't even know the name of. But it was uh, yeah, really cool, unique experience. I had it well done because I'm not actually a huge fan of steak. Um, and I was frowned at for having it well done. You're meant to have it medium rare, but um, it was still fantastic. The tea ceremony was uh, really cool, actually. Um, so it was about 15, 20 of us around um, this lovely lady who told us about the traditional Japanese tea ceremony. Um, it, certain ways to hold it. Um, I'm still pretty sure I'm got no idea how to properly hold it, but you've got to uh, sip it in a specific way. You've got to make a loud noise when you sip it, because that uh, hints that you're enjoying it um, as well. Um, and it was just that, uh, yeah, really, really quiet, sort of, everyone was sort of listening. Um, and it was just, yeah, a beautiful moment, surrounded by these sort of, uh, this beautiful park as well, sort of just by a lake. Uh, it just made the experience just uh, that, that little bit better. Another thing I would definitely, that would definitely be worth mentioning would be uh, staying at a traditional Japanese rear can. Um, so they're traditional rooms. Um, you can find them pretty much most places across Japan. Uh, definitely worth visiting because it's traditional, old-fashioned Japanese rooms, beautiful decorations, usually overlooking the cities as well. Um, and they're definitely worth visiting if you do get a chance. Um, also worth mentioning is going to the Ia Valley and perhaps doing a Kaminga. So this is the same as a rear cam, but for a group of four to five people usually, um, you'll get people come from the local villages uh, to cook your own dinner, uh, and they'll do a traditional Japanese song in front of you as well. Uh, and it's just really beautiful, peaceful place uh, to visit, and you're surrounded by the mountains. So definitely worth visiting there if you get a chance. Mm -hmm.